Hey, Matthew Mora here, and today we'll be looking at a few gaming monitor recommendations for the PS5. Behind me are three 27-inch gaming monitors by LG, and let's just get this out of the way, this video is not sponsored, and I've purchased all three of these monitors with my own money over the past couple of years. This is by no means a list of the best gaming monitors for your PS5, but I've used and tested all three of these in a variety of PS5 games, and they all receive my stamp of approval for your next-gen PlayStation. First up, let's talk about the monitors of choice. As I mentioned earlier, these are all 27-inch LG gaming monitors. All three sport a 144Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, IPS display for great colors, and some form of HDR. As a note, none of these monitors have built-in speakers, so you would need to plug in external speakers or use a headset while gaming. Now, what we all know at this point is you need HDMI 2.1 to take advantage of the advertised 120Hz at a 4K resolution. And at the time of this recording, there are no 4K monitors with HDMI 2.1. However, there's word that some options will be available at the beginning of 2021, but I assume they'll carry a heavy price tag when they first hit the market. I plan on doing an updated video when some options become available, so definitely hit that subscribe button if that's something you want to see. All three of these monitors have HDMI 2.0 ports and are capable of delivering a 1440p 120Hz signal and 4K at 60Hz. If you're confused about all these numbers, then just remember that 120Hz refresh rate is the amount of times your monitor can refresh every second, and this will normally result in a smoother gameplay experience and the feeling of more responsive controls. Keep in mind that not every PS5 game will support a 120Hz refresh rate, as most titles will be targeting that 60fps mark for a balance of graphical fidelity and a stable amount of frames. Running at 120 frames per second will give you a competitive advantage for most first-person shooters like Black Ops and Destiny 2 as your screen will refresh faster and you'll see enemies sooner and at a consistent timing. With all that said, let's take a look at the budget-friendly LG 27GL650F for $299. It has a 1080p resolution, up to 144Hz refresh rate using DisplayPort, super thin bezels and a pretty sturdy stand with red accents that's not super gamery. If you only bought the PS5 to play FPS games like Black Ops, Destiny 2, or any other fast-paced games that run at up to 120 FPS, then this monitor might be for you. You won't be getting the best picture quality with a 1080p resolution, and things may look a little blurrier at 27 inches, but that's a bit of a different story with our next monitor, the LG 27GL850B, that comes in at $499. LG sells the exact same monitor without the additional rear USB ports, called the LG 27GL83A for a more affordable $379. I haven't had a chance to test out the more affordable GL83A, but reports say you get the same performance as the GL850B for a lower price. Anyway, this is a 1440p monitor. Yes, I said 1440p, and I know the PS5 only supports a 1080p and a 4K resolution, but this monitor also has a downscaler. This is extremely useful as the PS5 will output a 4K resolution, this monitor will accept that 4K resolution at 60Hz, then downscale it to 1440p. This gives you a much cleaner image versus your PS5 outputting a 1080p image and upscaling it to 1440p. Not all monitors have these built-in downscalers, as I connected my PS5 to my older 27-inch Asus PG279Q and only have the option to display a 1080p resolution. I've pulled together a list of monitors that are confirmed to have this feature and we'll link all of them in the description box below. Along with the additional clarity from downscaling, you are also treated to the ability of enabling the 120Hz mode in compatible games at a 1080p resolution. In my opinion, this is the perfect balance in terms of image quality and performance to get the most out of your PS5 until a high refresh rate 4K HDMI 2.1 monitor comes out. You can still get close to a native 4K image at 60Hz while giving you the option to game at 120Hz in 1080p without completely breaking the bank. Speaking of breaking the bank, we have our last monitor, the LG 27GN950B, and it comes in at a hefty $999. At the time of this recording, it's one of the few monitors that has a native 4K resolution, so no downscaling is necessary, and has a 144Hz refresh rate with an IPS panel. Now this monitor is a bit hard to recommend because although it is capable of a 144Hz refresh rate and 165Hz overclocked, it can't actually achieve these refresh rates of 4K on the PS5 due to the lack of an HDMI 2.1 port. This monitor is really for someone who games on a high-end PC and also has a PS5. The PS5 will output a crispy 4K image at 60Hz, which looks sharp and amazing, but the limitation of the HDMI 2.0 port will only allow you to experience the 120Hz 
at a 1080p resolution. If you're spending this much money on a monitor exclusively for your PS5, then I'd suggest waiting for a 4K high refresh rate monitor with HDMI 2.1 or picking up a smaller TV. Let me know if you want to see a full review of any of these monitors and I can do a deep dive if there's any interest. If you're dying for a 4K monitor and don't plan on playing games that utilize the 120 FPS, then there are a ton of more affordable 4K monitors out there that can do 4K at 60Hz. Sticking with LG, I'd suggest the 32UK550B. It's a bigger 32 inch 4K display with a VA panel, 60Hz and a 4 millisecond response time. And if you're not aiming to play fast paced shooters, then this might be a better fit for you. I truthfully haven't tested this monitor out myself, but it looks like it checks off all the boxes in terms of specs. This isn't supposed to be a list of the best monitors for your PS5, but these are the ones that I've tested and can confirm work. If I were buying a monitor right now for my PS5, then I'd lean towards a 27 inch or 32 inch 1440p monitor with a high refresh rate and built in downscaler like the LG 27 GL 850B. It's the best balance between image quality and performance with the PS5 and even more so on a decent gaming PC. Pushing a native 4K resolution at 120 FPS is a tough challenge for even the highest end PCs, so I don't expect many AAA PS5 games to hit that mark. 4K 120Hz monitors aren't quite mainstream yet and probably won't be affordable for some time or at least until HDMI 2.1 becomes a standard in monitors. Anyways, hopefully this helps you out if you're looking for a monitor to pair up with your PS5, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Later days.